What's up everyone? This is Ben back with another video exposing the lies and hypocrisy of everyone's favourite royal couple, Harry and Meghan. As you all know, I've been calling out their BS victim narrative and attention-seeking stunts for ages. Buckle up, their latest attempts to manipulate the media is insane. Now I know you guys are super excited to hear more about this, but before I move on to any further details, I'd love to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Smash the subscribe button, hit the like. And don't forget to press the notification bell too. So, now here's the deal. Prince Harry has been desperately trying to force UK taxpayers to fund his family's elite security whenever they visit Britain. He even sued the government over this. What an entitled... On the very last day of the High Court hearing, Harry magically produces his letter claiming the New York police found evidence of the paparazzi arrest, the infamous two-hour car chase, you know, the one that Harry and Meghan massively exaggerated. For sympathy points, the letter was apparently their smoking gun to prove the grave danger they faced to justify the VIP British protection. Well, guess what? The whole thing blew up in their faces spectacularly. Turns out that the alleged NYPD letter claiming arrest were in imminent and was sent in error, aka it's bullcrap. NYPD sources confirmed it's not sufficient evidence to charge anyone. No arrests, no car chase, no suspects, nada. They thoroughly investigated and the DA and they found nothing. Uh, I mean, the audacity of these two, they really thought they could lie and tamper with a major lawsuit by getting the NYPD falsifying evidence. Megan must be absolutely fuming her scheme. Didn't work. She's been plotting and scheming behind the scenes, coaching Harry to play up to the victim act for the courts. This letter was a Hail Mary to guilt trip UK into giving them 24-7 security. Sorry, Megs, your manipulative games aren't going to fly anymore. The judge and public see through it. No one's buying the crocodile tears about fearing for your lives when you two live for media attention. The paparazzi didn't put anyone in danger. It was Harry and Meghan's own security causing chaos on the streets. Multiple reports confirmed their team's driving was totally reckless. But of course, they're professional victims with no accountability. Funny how their initial statement had cries about near uh, car chases. And now they are having security issues. Cops and witnesses called BS on the exaggerated claims. The mayor said a serious high-speed chase through NYC is extremely unlikely. A taxi driver who was briefly involved said he felt in danger, but Harry and Meghan just can't stop lying. They're so desperate to control the narrative and seem like victims. They'll say anything. Apparently now the NYPD found reckless endangerment evidence to arrest perhaps police. Don't they realize the police st statements completely contradicted that? No laws were even broken. No one was threatened. And their own security escalated the situation. Oops, guess that troop bomb destroys their fantasy. I've never seen a couple lie so shamelessly. And obviously, everything with them is fake. PR stunts, stories, fake letters, everything. They wouldn't know honesty if it smacked them in the face. What really gets me is how they're trying to corrupt and take advantage of law enforcement, thinking they could pressure the NYPD into falsely accusing innocent people just to score points in a petty lawsuit. The Sussexes act like they're above the law, above the truth. They're surrounded by yes-men who enable their toxic behavior. Well, someone needs to give them a reality check that the rules do apply to them. Look, I know I get heated, but it's just infuriating watching these two constantly get away with playing the system. All their tricks uh, for profits. So not only me, but the judge and the public saw right through it. This kind of shameless attempt to tamper with the security case. Megan's worst nightmare came true. Her manipulations failed on a massive scale. Yes, you love to see it. This is just my two cents, though. I want to hear what you guys think about this whole ridiculous situation. Do you believe the Sussexes' lies? Are you shocked that they tried to fake a police letter? What should their punishment be? Let me know in the comments. And for those of you who are strong of heart and want non-sugar-coated, more uncovered raw drama, I want to invite you to come to my Patreon page. The link is pinned in the comment here. And thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.